Alright, so in today's video, we are going to be making an Iron Man missile launcher that actually shoots. But, as you guys know, there's been dozens, if not hundreds, of different versions to the Iron Man suit. So before we start designing or putting any engineering plans together, we're going to search the web to see if we can find some type of inspiration, whether that be from the movies, the comic books, and even the animated series. So as far as designs, we're going to stick with that classic Iron Man Mark III look from the Iron Man movie. I'm going to try my absolute best to make it look as similar as possible, but no promises. So a couple of things in this project I want to make sure I include is I want to be able to shoot three to five times before I need to reload. I also have to include that super cool kind of extend mechanism on the launcher so when I'm not using it, I can kind of hide it away. And also, maybe the most important part is trying to figure out what I'm going to use for ammo. I do not trust myself enough to use an actual missile, of course, and even fireworks. But I do want to use an ammo that could possibly be destructive if we shoot it out fast enough. So that's when I came up with the idea to use darts. So I found just these dart steel tips on Amazon. And we're going to 3D print the actual body. So we can have the same type of power, but just in a much more smaller form factor. All right, so as you wait for those parts to come in, we're gonna go ahead and mess around with the next part, which is the lift. So the lift is gonna have two bases, one stationary base and one lifting base. Each of the bases are gonna be connected by four links, and one of those links are gonna be connected to the head of our servo motor. So when the servo motor rotates, it's either gonna lift the base or it's gonna lower it. So everything was 3D printed and put together, but let's rewind real quick and go over the electrical. So the Arduino is the brains of this operation. When I press the button, it rotates upwards. And when I press it again, it rotates back down. All right, so it works pretty smoothly. It works smoother than expected, but we are still missing those Lamborghini doors kind of opening mechanism, right? So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board, brainstorm a little bit, I'm gonna see what I can put together. Okay, so it took a little bit of work and was honestly kind of a pain but I think I figured out how I'm gonna do it, so let's take a look. So boom, the first problem was of course, where am I gonna fit this? It didn't have enough room on the actual base, so I designed the actual wrist mount to have enough surface area to fit both of those servos. So both of the servos will be facing towards the back, and then I designed some hinges to attach to those side panels that we're gonna use, so we can open it and close it smoothly, so all three servos will open at the same time and also close at the same time. All right, so we have everything set up and it's working Good. So as you can see, it opens super smoothly and it open it closes super smoothly. I have a delay set up so when it's opening, the hinges go first and then the lift goes. And then when it closes, the opposite happens. So the lift goes down and then the hinges go. So in the background, I'm going to be printing the, the design for the covers. But now we have to think about how we're gonna shoot these darts. So the steel tips came in. I'm about to 3D print the bodies for those and I'm gonna see how it works. So if you're liking the video, be sure to give your boy a like. And if you wanna see what I'm gonna be doing for my next project, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. But without further ado, let's get back to it. All right, so of course on what I thought was gonna be the easiest part of the project, I ran into some issues. So as you guys know, the original design was just to design the cylinder shape Throw the, dart, <clears throat> throw the dart head on there and be perfect fine. But no, we did all of that and the darts flew like terribly. Flipping, spinning, going every which way in the air was horrible. So I sat there, I thought, I thought, I thought, cause I didn't want to just go into this rabbit hole of keep on like redesigning these darts. Cause it's a, it's a super important part, but it should be relatively simple. So what I actually ended up doing was taking some darts that I had for my Nerf gun. And I noticed that the Nerf gun darts was super top heavy. So the head of it was super heavy and when you threw it, that's it flew perfectly. Of course, the same thing. You launch from the Nerf gun, it flew perfectly. So what I did was I took off that rubber tip, replaced it with a 3D printed one, and then I fitted the dart steel tip in the 3D printed head and it flew perfectly. It, I think it flew better than the actual Nerf darts by itself. So we are in good position with that. So the next step of the process is figuring out how we're going to shoot the darts. So of course there's a couple of ways to launch a projectile. You could either do it with a spring system or you could even do it with pneumatics. 
But what I think I'm going to do is just using electrical motors. So in the past, I used um, DC motors or drone motors in order to launch any type of projectile, and it worked out beautifully. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to design the motors, design some flywheels that's going to make contact with the dart. And we're probably going to have to have like some type of solenoid system in order to give that the dart the initial push through. But after that, we should be good as far as launching the ammo. All right, so here we have it. Everything is set up. I have one button that lifts the mechanism, and then when the mechanism lifts, it automatically turns on those motors. And then when it starts to hide back away, it turns off the motors. And I have a second button that feeds each dart through using that little micro servo motor in the back. So let's take a look. So as you guys can see, everything is working. The lift works, side panel openings work, and it shoots. So no problems right now, and hopefully it stays that way. But the last and final step is to make it look nice. Because it just looks like an assortment of different things, but we have to make it look like the Iron Man launcher. Come on, that was the whole point of this video. But to make it a little quick and make it a little bit more fun, I'm gonna make a design montage. So you can see the 3D print of the parts, you can see me spray painting and setting everything up. But without further ado, let's get to it. So after countless hours of building, we are finally done, have everything designed and ready to go. So the last step is to see how well this thing shoots. Is it hard to aim and everything? So without further ado, let's get it. So on the first test, we're going to be using just the basic Nerf darts. It's going to give us a chance to gauge and see what it's really looking like. I'm not trying to use the sharp point darts just like right away, but let's see the facts on that. Let's go! Yes! Yes! We finally hit something. Shit. Oh my God. Sadly, we weren't able to test the sharp point darts. And the reason is, because I made it too, too, too top heavy. So as soon as it's getting ready to get fed through the motors, it literally just tips over or it gets stuck. As you can see by these marks right here. But I promise you, I will conquer this. If not this time, then the next time. But let's keep on testing. Oh, so close. Yeah! So somehow I missed my target, which is the Coke cans, and hit the cups in the back. I suck, I suck, I suck. Give it to me! Woo! All right, so that's it for this build. Super fun. I am gonna make a version two because this is my first time building something like this and there's a lot of things that I would've done completely differently. But until then, let me know what you guys want me to do next. Do I stick with the Iron Man theme stuff? Do I do other superheroes? Do I even do things from anime? Let me know, just something completely different. Leave a comment, but until then, peace.